Well, this week I thought I would show you how to make some fake tiles. These are fake ceramic tiles for your dollhouse miniature project. Stay tuned, see what inexpensive pro products we used and how quick and easy this is to do. All right, to make our sheet of faux tiles, we are using, I'm this time I'm using photo paper. This is a glossy photo paper. You get eight sheets of it. I get this for a dollar at Dollar Tree. Now, if you have glossy cardstock, it will be easier to blend your ink. But I don't have glossy cardstock. I have this, so this is what I'm using. Now, I am going to, I've messed up one side, so I'm going to start, let's see, I'm going to start at one inch and then I'll go across. I'm going to try and go up and down. I, uh, this is take two for this part of the video. And I'm scoring every inch and I'm not planning to use the very outside of my paper. Now this photo paper does not come any bigger than 8.5 by 11 as far as I know. So if you need a bigger piece, you're going to have to piece your floor together. I think this would be really cool for a backsplash in the dollhouse kitchen. Just do a smaller grid. It would also be kind of neat to do a grid on a diagonal, but which I can do with this scoring board, but it would be a little more complicated and I want to go really easy for the video. You notice I'm going down and back up in the same track. I want to make my lines a little deeper than they would be if I went just one direction. I'm going to start from this side because it's just easier. You can see where, you might be able to see where I messed up. Again, one inch tiles. Because a one inch, one inch square is equivalent to a 12 inch tile, which would be pretty common for a floor, possibly even for a countertop. And this is another one of those projects. I'm showing you the raw material here. I'm showing you how to do, how to make something that looks like a building product, building material. I want you guys to send me pictures of what you make with this. If you make this tile, I want to see what you make with it. Where do you use it? When Lindsay did her version, she did hers on glossy paper and she used a brayer. I don't have a brayer. She used a totally different kind of ink than I'm using. And she used hers as part of a, as a background behind another layer on a card. And I looked at that and I thought, oh, dollhouse floor. And once again, there will be a link, since I'm inspired by Lindsay's project, there will be a link to Lindsay's channel, The Frugal Crafter, in my blog post. I am going to do a dark blue. I'm once again using my Distress inks. This is dark blue called Faded Jeans. And again, I like these small cubes because they're easy to handle and they're a lot less expensive. If I find a color I absolutely can't live without, I will probably go ahead and buy it. Now, don't, if you set the cube down, you're going to get a mark that will not go away. One downside to using photo paper is the ink dries almost immediately, so it's hard to blend. But we're going to use that to our advantage. And I was playing with this earlier. I found that going in a circle seems to give me the best color. And dark colors. Now I went a little too long on that one area, I filled up the grout. Dark colors seem to work better because you see the grout line. Now these aren't going to be a solid tile, they're going to have some variations in color, but I like that. Yeah, see here I kind of messed that up. 
I might see if I can fix that after this all dries. I've got an idea. Once you get your rhythm, it's a little easier to not do that. But wouldn't this look cool as a backsplash for a dollhouse kitchen? And it, since we're only paying a dollar for eight sheets of this paper, and there's quite a bit of ink in these ink pads. You can get a lot of bang for your buck. I think that turned out really cool. I hope you like it. I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to come back and show you how to fix up those little boo-boos. So I'm going to let this dry for eh, about 10-15 minutes and then I'll be back. Alright, so that little, those spots where I got a little carried away with the ink. I'm going to try not to get my head in the camera. I have a white gel pen. This happens to be a jelly roll. I love white, white gel pens. They are so nice for fixing stuff like this. Always have a straight edge so that you don't, you know, wander across your your tile. Or I went really hard, it might not work as well. Let's see, I need to trick I learned. I forget whose channel I learned this one on. If it stops working, rub it on your finger. Okay, it's not going to totally clear that, but... A little white paint pen, if you had one with a small enough, knit, small enough um, point on it, might be good for this too. There we go. We have a blue tile. I like this end better than that where it got way too thick, but I think this would look really cool on a countertop or a floor or a wall or anywhere else you would put tiles. So if you make this project for your dollhouse or your miniature project, be sure and let me know. Show me a picture. I want to see what you do with this building material. Check the blog post for a link to Lindsay's channel if you want to go over to her channel and get inspired for making tons more stuff. If you haven't found us on Facebook, be sure and find us there. We have lots of fun, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.